Welcome again, folks, to the Tate the Castle Show the Machines, including this Pachico called the Marinel Monroe. We all know this. It's uh, a bestie that is copyrighted Fox movies and films and all that stuff, 2005. And yes, it's in that glorious uh, lipstick red, of course, Marilyn, uh, bestie frame. And you can take a look at that glorious field. In fact, I'm going to go a little bit closer so you can see how that background is. Now this little button down there, they all, we all know the chance on the Lumina. Right there. Watch this. Jukebox. You can change your background. And it goes there. It goes there. And it changes right there. Your backgrounds. And that glorious dolphin or porpoise, whatever you want to call it. Isn't that glorious? Well, I'm going to do what I did. Of course, you see that I removed the glass assembly that goes in front of the cell. Those who don't know what a cell is, it is the play field that the Lumina or Bisti frame goes inside. So, put some balls in the wind pocket. Now, as you can also hear, is that, the, is that the speakers ain't blasting. I did install volume controls. Yes, I went with the Radio Shack method. They're right over there, there, and there to uh, reduce the volume. Now, in the back, I also flipped that switch to the lowest volume setting. And this is what the back of the door looks like. Of course we all know that these are the notorious incandescent bulbs that burn out. That when now we have some suppliers that give us the the different colors besides the clear to replace those. And these are the these are right here how you latch that glass back in. You got four of them on each corner that latches the glass back in. The, the glass assembly. Now, the glass assembly, of course, is this beauty. I'm going to try to outstretch it to my hand. It is a little bit heavy, and it is two panes welded together, of course, for all the people that buy the Luminas or any of the new ones. This is the one I really don't want to have having trouble 